Bipartisan negotiations continue in the Senate as House Republicans unveiled their own proposal today that would reopen the government and extend the debt ceiling. ABC News' Karen Travers has the latest developments from Washington. Today, a sense of urgency seemed to kick in on Capitol Hill. Two separate plans to end the shutdown and raise the debt ceiling are emerging. I'm confident we'll be able to reach a comprehensive agreement this week in time to avert a catastrophic default on the nation's bills. The Senate's working towards a tentative deal that would reopen the government, but only until January 15th. Avoided default by extending the nation's credit limit, but only until February 7th. And here's the key no major changes to the health care law. But conservatives in the House were not happy with that last point. So today, after meeting with his fellow Republicans, Speaker John Boehner said they'll vote on their own plan. We're working with our members uh, on our way forward and to make sure that we provide fairness to the American people. The House plan tracks closely to the Senate's when it comes to the short-term funding to reopen the government and the extension of the debt ceiling. But it will also include several Obamacare provisions, including eliminating health care subsidies for members of Congress and suspending the medical device tax for two years. The White House said the House plan was a partisan attempt at appeasing a small group of Tea Party Republicans who forced the shutdown in the first place. Speaker Boehner did not indicate when the House would vote, leaving things very much still up in the air. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington.